Amazon game just came out today called Real Racing. It's $9.99, 63.2 megabyte download. This isn't gameplay, this is the uh, intro. Pretty cool. Okay. All right, here's your menu screen. It's pretty cool. A couple different options. You'll want to um, make the career mode. Um, we're going to look at this game because it's well, no boards or forums and the reviews. Everyone's giving it like 5 out of 5. But let's see if it's really worth a 5 out of 5 rating here. With another one of my honest reviews. There's um, 36 cars, they say dozens of tracks. A steering, you have a couple different options for steering. I've been using just tilt steering. Let me zoom out a little bit. More intro. You can play from inside the car or you can play from outside the car like this. I actually like playing this view. Uh, one problem with this game, uh, so I can't talk and race at the same time. One problem with this game is how those cars just keep ramming you. I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, so I'm trying to play this while um, through the video camera. So yes, definitely suck at this. Yeah, it takes a while for to get used to the steering. It's a little oversensitive, or sometimes not sensitive enough, I guess. So it is pretty hard to control your car. It's going to take a lot of practice. And not holding it how I am, holding it flat with a video camera over top of it. Okay, so now I'll show you the racing in this mode. The um, artificial intelligence in this is pretty bad. It seems like everything is set on pro level or something, where you get I get smashed in. Pretty hard to keep up with the pack. And once you're in front of cars in the pack, they constantly ram you from the back and the side. And also, if you make one mistake off the road, like I keep driving off the road, and when I'm in first place and I go off the road like that, I'm instantly in last place. That's very frustrating. So, does the AI cheat? It sure seems that way. Now the good about the game is graphically the game's great. I give the graphics about a 9 out of 10. Controls about a 5 out of 10. Sounds good. A lot of different music. There's no big there's no uh, screen pop up in the background. There's no nitro. I can touch the screen to brake, which my problem is I never use the brakes in a racing game. Maybe that's my problem. So you can drift a little, but it doesn't give you any nitro or anything like for Need for Speed. So you're, we're going to compare this to Need for Speed. Okay. Um, 
It has brake assistance, which is good for someone like me that never likes to brake. So here's a different track. This is the intro before the race. Of course, this track looks like it copies Gran Turismo. All right, let's start. And like I said, I usually like to play from this view. It's kind of hard to tell when curves are coming up. Because there's not like a map over on the side. Let's see if I get back on the road. There, I went from first to last. Uh, you can flip the screen if you want to. Um, maybe we're running through some water. If you want the, uh, the speaker at the top. Once you get behind, just forget about catching up to the cars. So that's really frustrating. And there's no nitro, like I said, to nitro boost to catch up to the cars. Or, or which game would I recommend this game? Or Need for Speed Undercover. Well, they just lower the price to $6.99. This is $9.99. And to go against all those people that said this game is, game is so wonderful, I'm going to recommend Need for Speed over this game easily. The other game is more fun. Graphics are just as good. It's cheaper. Plus, it's just more fun. You can control your cars easier. Drifting is easier. You have Nitro. The other cars don't attack you like they do in this game. So overall, I'd actually give this game probably about a 7 out of 10. And Need for Speed, I'd give about an 8 out of 10. So, this game is good. And I think I've played every racing game there is on an iPhone. And this would be in the top, probably top 3 or 4. Controls are pretty bad. I still like the controls in um, Days of Thunder where your car actually can stay on the track. Right through some water there. So if you have $10 to waste, then get this game. Otherwise, just spend $7 and get. Just spend $7 and get. need for speed instead so be sure to subscribe to the videos post your comments I know um, a lot of people is not going to agree with me saying this isn't the best game ever but it's really not so post your comments below and yes I know I suck at this racing game